What is going on, everyone? Welcome to week three of RTT. Uh, we're a little behind, but you know, Jay went and ended up playing in Secaucus this past weekend, and so as a result, you know, he has to push our match back. And so, of course, me being me, I obviously obliged. So, uh, this is our week three matchup versus Jay, friend of the channel, uh, generous power ranking giver, and uh, I'm excited to see what he's got. So, he's been very reliant on like Riolu plus uh whatever basically like rapid ash has been good for him uh he's done haunter things he's i don't think he's done synthesis scorch or tyrantrum things yet um but you know has has a pretty decent supporting cast here of like dewblade meowth uh whiskash can be decent tyrantrum obviously very powerful something i'm a big fan of synthesis scorch uh maractus and heliolisk both of which can be abused with riolu setting sun uh, and then Mantine, which can be abused setting rain with Riolu as well. So um, Riolu seems to be a big center point of his team. And I feel like if we can control it, we can kind of do whatever we want. Uh, notably, a lot of his team is fairly fast outside of like exactly Dewblade, which is 35 speed. Um, a lot of his team is fairly fast or in that speed tier that like, could go fast if need be so as a result we're going to try to do trick room things this week as well uh setting up with tangela and lunatone i think this is tangela's first appearance on the channel so far um really kind of weak to exactly uh we're going to be weak to like exactly safety goggles but past that i think we'll be fine morgrim's going to probably swagger our luxray and or avalug depending on what we need to do uh, T-Wave for speed control, Taunt, because we are going to be faster than Morgrim to prevent him from doing anything. And then, uh, yeah, you know, try to clean the game up with, like, Luxray. We have potentially Calm Mind Lunatone here if he just leaves, uh, Tangela and Lunatone on the field together. Avalug, obviously very powerful po uh, Pokemon as well. Own Tempo means that we can, uh, swagger it with no downside. And then Shuckle, because LOL, why not Shuckle? Um... I think Power Split's actually really good, and being able to take away his ability to, like, deal damage to Shuckle means that eventually we can win. Um, I should probably change... I think we want to change either Encore or Helping Hand to Infestation, just so this could try to win, like, an endgame. And I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be Encore just because i think with this we can really just like shut down anything he's trying to do but yeah that's the team i'm excited to see how it goes um you know me being me i don't really run calcs for for these matchups i just kind of say yeah this pokemon's good why not and tr go from there so we'll see how it is let's get paired up here for game number one all right, so while I was waiting on Jay, uh, I ended up cutting Guard Split off a of Shuckle for, uh, uh, Helping Hand for Guard Split. Um, after just sitting here thinking about it, I think the idea of uh, Guard Splitting onto like Avalug and or like Luxray or Lunatone as like my big sweepers uh, could honestly really change the pace of the game. And like anything with the bulk from shuckle is going to basically be unkillable i think that's the idea i have no idea if it's accurate i have no idea if it's good but we're gonna do it what do you got jay all right there is the riolu not really surprised to see it um he does have his dew blade as the primary like trick room answer it looks like so i think this is just going to be Morgrim up front with lunatone I do need to watch out for Copycat on Riolu. That is something that honestly could come up and could be pretty threatening all actuality. And then I think to round this out, I want Avalug. And do I want the Shuck or do I want... Luxray is not bad. Just intimidating down like Tyrantrum and... Tyrantrum and Rapidash and uh, Dewblade could be good. Hmm. I think I think we want Luxray. I think I want the Intimidate. Let's see what he does, and then we can always uh, you know adjust from there. There's the Heliolisk. There's Haunter. Uh, 
wonder if this is just going to try to KO my Lunatone, like, immediately. I could... Could Sucker Punch the Haunter. And... I don't hate, like, swapping into Lux right here. Unfortunately, I can't paralyze the, the Helia list. Trick Room's really good if I can get it up. I think I'm just going to swap into Luxray. I think this is safe. There's his Sash. Okay. Shadow Ball to Luxray. Dark Pulse to Luxray. That's completely fine. So now I can bring back out Lunatone. And I can Sucker Punch the Haunter to potentially KO. And go for Trick Room here. Okay, I'm just going to taunt my Morgrim. That's also fine. Nice crit, but Trick Room goes out. That's completely fine. So now I can. I kind of want to preserve Morgrim. So I'm going to go into Avalug, and I'm going to. He doesn't have a Psychic Resist. I think I'm just going to Psy Shock the Haunter, try to take it out. Okay. Lunatone's on the board with a KO. Lunatone's going to go down. Avalug gets to come in for free. Now I can Swagger and hopefully clean up this game. Where is the Dewblade? This seems like it's Choice Specs. It was outspeeding Haunter. Uh, no, Hunter is outspeeding it. So it's not max speed, because otherwise it would outpace Haunter. So that makes me think it's Specs, because all it's done is click Dark Pulse. I think I'm actually fine to leave it alone. And I think I want... Uh, I mean, I could Steel Spike into it. It's a resisted hit, but at plus two, I'm sure it's enough. Let's do it. Dynamax do Blade. Is not enough to KO the, the Helia list. There's my Sash. And T-Bolt is enough to take out Morgrim. But this is fine. Um, I'm plus two was a plus one in special defense. I can go for... Hailstorm into the Helia list. Start doing some chip to this do Blade. Steel Spike's not going to do a lot. It's going to give him another defense boost, but that's fine. Tyrantrum comes out. This probably just protects. So I think I go for a Darkness this turn into the Dewblade. I honestly could... I, I think Steel Spike into the Tyrantrum is correct. Getting this additional speed boost, uh, this extra defense boost could be important. Even if it doesn't KO, which like I knew it wasn't going to, I think it could be fine. So now we can go for um I think Icicle Spear in the Tyrant Room is enough. Oh. Oh, head smash. Even at plus two, that was insane. Like, I expected to live that at plus two. But Life Orb Head Smash is obviously a ton of damage. I think Tangela is actually kind of important here. I think getting Trick Room up is actually really hard. Maybe we just pivot to Luxray and just go all in on Luxray here on turn one. I don't hate that. Him having Riolu is kind of annoying for us. I think Morgrim plus Luxray up front is good. And I think I want... Um, maybe Tangela plus Shuckle in the back. What does Shuckle do for me? What does Shuckle do for me? I don't think much of anything. I think Luxray is really important. I think Tantula is really good. And I think I want... I think I want Avalug.
Yeah, let's do it. Same lead here from our opponent. I'm just going to swagger my left ray, and I'm going to... I'm going to have Darkness into the Haunter here on one. He should go for the Taunt into Morgrim here. Just to prevent me from doing anything else. Just don't miss the Swagger. Okay, we're good. Okay, there's a Sludge Bomb. <sighs> okay. This is, of course, going to put him down to Sash, but that's fine. I can go into Tangela now. I can go for a knockoff into the Heliolisk. I could knock off... I could Sleep Powder the Heliolisk as well. Hmm. I think protecting Tangela this turn could be good. We've seen Sludge Bomb. Which did take Morgrim down to Sash. I mean, I have double the special defense of Morgrim. I think Sleep Powdering the Heliolisk is correct. And I could Steel Spike the Haunter just to KO it. I think this is fine. Hyper Voice coming out. This is Steel Spike the KO. Naturally, we get the crit on 1 HP. There's the safety goggles. Okay. Um, yeah, this is probably GG, unfortunately. So safety goggles means what? Safety goggles means what for me? I can knock off the... I can knock off the safety goggles and... What did Hyper Voice do? 22%. I am at 22%. That's really awkward. I'm going to Sleep Blade the... Sleep Powder the Dew Blade. Heliolisk is faster. What is my plan here? Hyper Voice on turn 1 did 25, so 22 is a low roll. I think knocking off the Evil Light is good, and we'll go for a Max Guard this turn. Let me get rid of their Mental Herb. Okay. That's really good to know if we get to a Game 3. <sighs> let's see. We can... Oh, let's see. This is really bad, because now he's going to be able to do his thing... Um, let's see. I could Rage Powder this turn and go for, I guess, just Throat Chop into the Heliolisk, but I think, I think we're GG here. Yeah, because this Darkness should go into Luxor and KO. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, Jay, you're too good. You're too good, my dude. Lightning should KO. Oh, not even close, actually. Naturally, we missed the Riolu. Now I can't even Sleep Powder. I can Rage Powder, and we can go for... I guess just Icicle Spear into the Heliolisk. These defense boosts are going to be the bane of me. Yep. That's GG. That sucks. Oh, well. Oh, well. Jay's just too much of a gamer, guys. That's all we can say. Like, I I just have nothing. Yeah, GG. Ripperoni, man. Ripperoni. I just, I don't know. I, I felt prepared, and what could have gone better? Um, I felt prepared for Riolu. Like, I felt like I had a solid answer to Riolu. I just, I don't know, my form of speed control just felt really pressured by what he was trying to do. And it, it didn't really matter what what Trick Room Setter I brought. Both Lunatone and Eggy are both weak to Dark. So having 
uh, Shadow Ball and like because I both of mine are psychic types, it, like being weak to Dark Pulse and Shadow Ball on both of his Pokemon is obviously pretty bad for us. And I just I didn't have a solid answer, unfortunately. That's just just how it goes, unfortunately. But you know, Jay Jay came prepared and Jay got the game, so GG's my dude. Um, to everyone watching. Thank you so much, and we will see you next week with some more RTT. Have a good one. Peace.